My name is Izzy. I'm a sporadic YouTuber. If you don't know what this is by the title, um, it is my wrap up for March and I'm super excited about it because I read 16 books. You see that? <laughs> that was my little dance. Um, yeah, I read 16 books, super excited about it, and yeah, let's just get into it. So hopefully I don't lose my voice halfway through this video, because so many of these books I loved, and I was so excited to read. There were a couple, but um, for the most part, they were all pretty good. Um, but uh, let's just get into it, shall we? Because this video is going to be really long, because I'm sure I'm going to be like fangirling over these books way too much. The first two books that I ended up reading were only Love and Death by Patrick Suskind, which I loved. I ended up giving five stars, and I love this so much that I actually bought a second copy. And then I ended up reading I Am New Jude, Age 10 and Divorced um, by New Jude Ollie, and this was really good as well. And then I ended up finishing The Dinner by Herman Coke. This was really good as well. I really enjoyed this too. A lot of people are saying they didn't enjoy this, and it's going to be a movie soon as well, so if you want to read it, you should get to it. Yes! <laughs> my excitement is not because I enjoyed this, but rather that I finished it. So this is On the Road by Jack Kerouac. I have been reading this for months, like I said. I did not really like it that all, uh, that much. Um, I didn't think it was awful, and I felt kind of like I should like it because it kind of had elements that I really do enjoy. And I absolutely love How by Allen Ginsberg. I lost my TARDIS. It jumped ship. <laughs> I get it. Spaceship TARDIS. Ah, I'm funny. Anyway, uh, I loved How by Allen Ginsberg like so much and I think How was actually written to impress Jack Kerouac but I don't get it. They're from the same like beat generation, but I just wasn't feeling this book as much as I really love How. Another book that, which was actually my March TBR, and one of the only books in my March TBR that I think I actually read, um, was uh, Sonnets of the Portuguese and Other Poems, um, from the Portuguese and Other Poems by Elizabeth Barrett Browning. I did not like this either. <laughs> um, this was on the Rory Gilmore Reading Challenge. The poem that I actually did like out of here was A Curse for a Nation, only because it kind of was a little bit political sounding. I don't know if it was meant to be, but I could relate with that one the best. The rest were just like love poems and just... <sighs> <laughs> if you like romance and you like love poems, then I could see why you would really enjoy this. But for me, nope. <laughs> Just nope. Didn't dig it. The first book that I ended up reading for Rito Rama was Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. I loved this book. I thought it was great and it's just a short classic that I am surprised that I haven't read yet. I mean it's only like a hundred pages if that even and it is just short and sweet and so good. Another book that I ended up reading was Zombie. This is the fifth book in the zombie series. This is Baby and it's by Darren Chan. Um, he wrote the Cir Cirque du Freak series, which I haven't actually read yet. Um, but I, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that the first book of Zombie I hated. This lovely Austrian girl told me to continue with the series. Or she really enjoyed them. So I pushed through and I am starting to enjoy these quite a bit more. I think I ended up giving this one four stars, which is really pushing it for me because it started at like two and three and now it's at four. So I think by the end of this series, I might actually love it. The next book that I ended up reading was the Girl I Used to Be by April Henry. This was the book that I actually went into blind. I had no idea what this was about, and all I knew at, by the back was that it was a YA mystery, which I spoiled myself on. Um, but that's all I knew, and I went into it, and it was so good. Um, there were a couple things afterwards that I'm like, oh, now that I think about it, I didn't like that. But I mean, they were so minuscule that they didn't affect my rating. I ended up giving it like four or five stars. I can't remember. At least 4.5. It was really good, and it is a great YA mystery. It was just short and sweet and always keeping you on your edge of your seat, and ah, uh, I just really, really like this. The next book that I ended up reading for Rita Rama was Gavin was by Gavin Corbett and Corbett, and this is this is the way. This was my book with Irish elements hated it. <laughs> I did not like this book at all. I think I gave it three stars to be generous because I understood what it was kind of trying to do a little bit, but I just wasn't for me. 
last book that I ended up reading for Rito Rama was Isla, is that how you say it? Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. This is the third book in the Anna and the French Kiss series, and it was such a beautiful conclusion. It was so gorgeous. I gave it five stars. I love these books. I These are like my guilty pleasure, because I'm not a super romantic book reader. Like, I don't read... A crap ton of romance. I, I like to sprinkle it in here and there, but this was just what I needed, especially after that crappy book. Um, this was just light and fluffy and such a beautiful conclusion. I cried at the end. I cried when I'm not gonna get into it, but let's just say if you've read this, when we reached full circle, I bawled. <laughs> um, but yeah, this was great. Um, I can't, I'm gonna have to reread the entire series again. I just have to. Now that I finished it, I have to start over at some point. They are just so great and so fluffy and just lovely. And I just, I love all of the characters so much. They're just so genuine and real and I'm so excited for her. I think she's making a horror book next. Is anyone else like super excited for it? I've already pre-ordered it <laughs> and they just released the cover for it and I'm just, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I love her writing and yeah, it's gonna be good. <laughs> The last books are the books that I read for Fem Powerathon and Barathon. I wanted to do a wrap up for that as well, but I just didn't get to it. The first book that I ended up reading, which also ended up covering my Try Before You Buy for Barathon, as well as the other challenges, I can't remember. Um, but because I did end up buying this copy of this book because I rented it from the library, but now, now it's mine because it was so good. This was just a little short story. It's around like 60 some pages, maybe. It's so small, but so unbelievable powerful and good like seriously pick this up it only take like an hour of your time and it's just so good uh, it had me at the end like going what the fuck just happened uh, wait, wait is it this wait 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 what what just seriously pick this up it's so good another book that I ended up reading was Ranit and Jamil I I figured out how to say it right now um, if you don't know what this is about this is a modern day retelling of Romeo and Juliet set in Israel I'm going to be doing a whole book talk about this one at some point um, very shortly hopefully and we're going to discuss this because this has awful reviews on Goodreads and it pisses me off to like you can hear it in my voice it makes me so freaking mad that this does not have better reviews because this is such a beautiful beautiful retelling I loved this book this is my new baby and I'm very protective of it I loved this <laughs> the next book that I read was the hate you give by Angie Thomas if you haven't picked this book up yet and you're thinking about it just stop thinking about it go buy it right now it was the perfect blend of YA and a serious issue that needs to be discussed right now it made it just a serious issue just put in a very very readable format star the main character is like every other kind of young adult girl that you've dealt with in books before she has the same kind of relationships she has a boyfriend and she you know she has the, the relationship with her friends and you know how girls can be and but on top of going to a primarily white school and being black on top of seeing her best friend get shot times two on top of dealing with all of this dealing with being in in a town that is kind of a ghetto kind of area kind of run down oh, this book was beautiful it just blended everything I think it just blended the two so perfectly just the YA and the serious issue that needs to be discussed which I wish didn't need to be discussed in America of the Black Lives Matter movement um, like I said five stars without a doubt it was also another one of my seriously super anticipated reads of the year and I'm so glad that it came through because it was my it was just everything that I wanted another book that I ended up reading which I have a ton of tabs in but just ignore it's for a special project that I'm doing. This is Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. This is a lovely lesbian um, contemporary kind of book and it was just 
really good. It was set in LA, which I have friends that live in LA, and I miss them terribly, and I miss LA so much. Um, just California in general. It has a little piece of my heart. So much of this book just reminded me so much of just things that I've done in LA and my friends and just it really took me there and it just was really and also just romantic and just beautiful and it was just a really really good book. The next book that I ended up reading was The Wires and Nerves um, wires and nerve. I keep saying nerves. Um, this is the first graphic novel of the Lunar Chronicles series that she's, that Marissa Meyer's doing in graphic novel form, and it's so great. Um, this follows Aiko, which we all love. We know that we all love Aiko. She's amazing. Um, but this follows her. She's basically the main protagonist, but it does have all of our other friends sprinkled in, and this was just what I needed. Aiko is just such a badass. I just love Aiko. She's just the perfect balance between femininity and badass, but in android form. She's awesome. I really love this. I can't wait to see where it continues to go with this series, and I, I'm, I'm pumped. I loved it. <laughs> the last book that I ended up reading was Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I got this in the Owlcrate unboxing, which I will link. This has been going around book two. People either love it or they hate it. I am a lover. I'm a lover. I really loved this. I thought it was super magical and fun and just a nice, just, I don't know, I just loved it. Um, and the ending, can we just, I don't want to spoil anything, but, uh, that ending, whoo, I loved it! I spoiled too much for you guys, but if you want a fuller review of this, you can ask me down below and I will do one, but I, I probably won't do one elsewise, but I really loved this book. So anyway, if you have read any of these books, or if you want me to do reviews on any of the books that I didn't mention I was going to do a review on, um, please let me know in the comment section below and I will do that for you. Why not? Um, <laughs> so yeah, so please let me know how you did for the month of March and your reading goals. I did fantastic. I am so proud of myself. So probably tomorrow or the next day I will be, I will be putting up my um, TBR, <laughs> if I can think of the word. I'm losing my voice. I need to go. This camera battery is going to die. So anyway guys, peace. I'm out. Goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow maybe, maybe not, whatever. Bye guys.